so in previous lecture already i told there is a there is a two unit is there one is biu that means bus interface unit and another unit is there it is called eu execution unit okay so so now i am going to discuss about the general data registers general data registers what is available in the 8086 microprocessor so the registers h l togetherly uh, together i can uh, we can able to call it x together we can able to call it x next bhbl together uh, we can able to call it bx chcl together we can call cx dhdl together we can call dx so this is 8 bit this is also 8 bit all together it is 16 bit okay so the registers ax bx cx and dx are the general purpose 16 bit registers as ax is used as 16 bit accumulator with the lower 8 bits of ax designated as al and higher 8 bit as ah AL can be used as an 8 bit accumulator for 8 bit operation this is the most important general purpose register having multiple function okay so usually the letter l is uh, represent the lower bit and letter h represent the higher bit the register cx is also used as a default counter in case of string and loop instructions and register bx is used as an offset storage for forming physical address in case of certain addressing modes dx register a is a general purpose register which may be used as an implicit operand or destination in case of few instructions so this is the call the general data purpose the uh, general data registers this is general data registers next is the segment registers
segment registers. The segment registers, the 806 address a segment memory. The complete one megabyte memory, which the 806 address is divided into 16 local segments. Each segment contains 64 kilobyte of memory. There are four segment registers. One is called code segment, data segment, segment register, stack segment, extra segment, The code segment register is used for addressing a memory location in the code segment of the memory where the executable program is stored. Similarly, the data segment register points to the data segment of the memory where the data is resided. The extra segment also refers to a segment which essentially is another data segment of the memory. Thus, the extra segment also contains data. The stake segment re register is used for addressing stake segment of the memory, that is memory which is used to store stake data. The CPU uses the stake for temporarily storing important data Example, the contents of the CPU register, which will be required at a later stage. The stake grows down, that is the data is pushed onto the stack in the memory locations with decreasing addresses. When this information will be required by the CPU, they will be popped off from the stack. While ad addressing any location in the memory bank, the physical address is calculated from two parts. The first is segment address and the second is offset. The segment register contains 16-bit segment based addresses related to different segments. Any of the pointers an index registers or BX may contain the offset of the location to be addressed. The advantage of the scheme is that in, instead of maintaining a 20-bit register for a physical address, the processor maintains two 16-bit registers. which are within word length capacity of the machine. Thus, the CS, DS, SS, and ES segment registers respectively contain the segment address for the code, data, state, and extra segments of the memory. It may be noted that all these segments are the logical segments. They may or may not be physically separated. In other words, a, a single segment may require more than one memory chip or more than one segment may be accommodated in a single memory chip. So in the next class, I will discuss about the pointers and index registers. Thank you.